Yes, ah, uh, since we Massachusetts, or rather, in Akuzo, Mwezi Kuminabidi, Mwezi Ogwa, August, Womuna, Mwaka Bidi, Abidi Mwesa, Tuli Wanoku, a uh, British Embassy, Gatu, Yongedox, Tule Dobozi, Afe, Governor Uganda, Badimu, Diaspora, ah, <coughs> Gatu uh, Jukiza, Banafi, Wanabateka, and Simbi. Is a chair the government ya Uganda, government ya my Museveni, uh, who gained a mass on Okubed anti a color, a bicolobero, uh, if Uganda. So, Oralero, Ramukaga, Jevali Munde, Yongaburi Jo, uh, the Subidanti by Japuja, Patula, what they are in each one, the Kochawe, Naye, Filate Tugana, who gained a mass on a Sula Dobozi of Kurabana Uganda, Millionana Metan, no Musovio. So, yeah, uh, we said that you know, we're gonna quote from our speeches. No, could you have it? See, uh, I've enough to be about related day. Uh, Katwe Yonge Deyo. Stand so that I can adjust this on where you are. Massachusetts Avenue, that is northwest of Washington DC, the USA, and we are here to uplift our voices on uh, UK's double standards uh, in as far as uh, human rights are uh, concerned, the LGBT rights, and uh, the continued funding of uh, uh, dictatorship and uh, so uh, this is uh, our message uh, to the UK and uh, after uh, uh, So I start. There is a gentleman, fellow Chief, and advocates for justice. Outside the British Embassy. I'm sounding cool to change. I'm standing united against the public mention of injustice, potency, and the level standards that have played our world for popular. We raise our voices and demand an end to the funding of dictatorship in Africa. 
don't think inconsistencies. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's clear. It is time for accountability, transparency, and genuine support for human rights. On this day, I remember the events of August 13th, 2014. A pivotal moment in the struggle for equality and justice. Of why these lyrics that were, uh, were alleged to be interpreted as being against the LGBT community. While we acknowledge the importance of free speech, we cannot ignore the subsequent suspension of this visa. This action demonstrated the British Embassy's willingness to take a stand on LGBT rights. But our concern lies in the inconsistency of their actions. It is a painful irony that while Bob Wine faced consequences for his alleged stance on LGBT rights, President Museveni, who signed the abhorrent anti-LGBT bill into law, uh, Ghanaian, the, the confidence of British officials and increased funding. This dichotomy is not only unjust, it is a stark reminder of the hypocrisy that stains the principles we hold dear. We cannot stand idly by while governments that oppress their own people infringe upon best rights, best human rights, I beg your pardon, and condone discrimination receive the support of the international community. The British Embassy has a moral responsibility to uphold the values of equality, justice and human rights. We implore them to reconsider their actions and to align their policies with their professed principles. It is imperative that they prioritize the well-being and rights of all individuals regardless of their sexual orientation or their identity. We demand a cease funding dictators the Trump and the rights of their citizens and take concrete steps as against all CPTI rights on the consistent basis. Our struggle is not limited to borders, nationalities, or identities. It is a universal fight for dignity, respect, and a better world for all. We call upon the British Embassy to be a beacon of hope, a force for positive change, and a true ally to those who face discrimination and oppression. Let our voices be heard today. Echoing through the corridors of power, demanding a just world where double standards are eradicated and where the principles of equality and human rights are upheld without compromise. Together, we can make a difference and together we will forge a path towards a brighter future. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are Uganda activists and it is for protests against decisions with yeah. LGBT. The human rights in general. We call the prevailing system of neocolonialism in Uganda and Africa, which stifles the nation's development and potential despite its considerable resources. We earnestly beseech His Majesty King Charles to contemplate the expulsion of Uganda from the common world, given that the nation's commitment fostering democratic societies, peace and prosperity What's wrong with that? Are you too close to uh, Are you too close to the microphone? Because they the kind of a... The, 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 uh, the sound is not that clear. I don't know if you are close to the microphone or what. Okay. Yeah, it's not really coming, coming clear. Uh, you Continue, just continue. But trying to... Maybe speak a little bit up, but not too close to the. Was that? Yeah.
Majesty King Charles contemplates his expulsion of Uganda from the Commonwealth, given that the nation's commitment to fostering democratic societies, peace, and prosperity has faltered irregularly. The current alignment with single individuals' interests does not serve the welfare of Uganda or its people. We firmly believe that addressing these concerns is not only in alignment with the values of the Commonwealth Chapter, the Commonwealth Charter, but also essential for upholding the principles of justice, equality, and human rights. Take decisive action such as expelling Uganda from the Commonwealth would not only demonstrate a collective commitment to condemning actions that run counter to the Alliance's efforts. It would also free millions of Commonwealth citizens directly and indirectly through inspiration. This would resonate powerfully, especially in light of the UK's past stance on imposing sanctions in response to human rights abuses. Your thought for consideration on our request holds a potential to reaffirm the Commonwealth's integrity and dedication to its founding principles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, that was uh, that was a message on Captain uh, for the UK uh, Embassy, and now uh, this is my uh, opinion on what we are doing here. Now we all know that uh, the UK uh, in that in that document we read about uh, uh, their their stance at top wine. It was just lyrics, just lyrics in a song that was interpreted to be homophobic. But we have uh, a dictator that signed a bill in two law and held several speeches press conferences affirming that he was going to enforce that law. And surprisingly, the UK here, they rather increased their funding to the dictator. And they are praising the democracy and observation of human rights by Museveni. So these are the double standards we are talking about. And if you are Africans, I know the UK's impact is not just in Uganda, but it's all over, especially in British colonies. Yes, yes. We are seeing neocolonialism taking place in, modern, in this modern generation. So I'm, I'm appealing to all of us to use every platform, every chance we get raise our voices and speak out and expose these double standards because that's how we win. That's how we overcome the problems. And let me tell you something. Uh, about two weeks ago, I saw a, a video when I said the words uh, uh, attending a session with uh, uh, President Putin and other African leaders. Now, friends, most of you 
could have observed Moshev in reporting what was uh, what he had gone through with, uh, with, the, with the US and uh, and, the, and, the, and the UK. But this is what I I I get from this conversation. Moshev knows exactly what he's doing. He knows that he's uh, he's the enforcer of neocolonialism in Africa. He knows this. He's a puppet. But he continues working with these people because he has his individual. And he's not a Ugandan. Individual interests. We are tired. And friends in Africa, we are telling you, Museven is not just a Ugandan problem, but he's an African problem. And I, I, can, I, can, I can confidently state that Museveni is the best, uh, best graduate of US and UK's neo colonialism. Of course, because he enforces uh, his, uh, their interests on the ground. We don't see UK, UK soldiers in, uh, in Africa, we don't see US soldiers in Africa. But Museveni has an army, in a, a private army, that serves the interests of these neo colonizers. Yes. And when, when we talk about Museveni in Uganda, I want you to understand that Museveni is your problem. Museveni is a problem to Africa. Yeah. When Putin wants to take over Africa, he wants to move Museveni. Yes. Yes. When the US wants boots in Somalia, he, Museveni is there. So when Yoko wants to uh, uh, smuggle, exploit Congo, Museveni is the same person. And China, everyone. So please let's unite. Let's unite as Africans and raise a collective voice about Museveni and Museveniism. Yes. Because they're all puppets of the West. Yes. And unless we work together, we still have a long way to go. Thank you. So we can do the same at the real data foundation. Okay. Yeah. Tony, Tony, you want to solve this? Oh. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Yes. Tucha aliwo waneno ku Pembasi ya ibu ngeleza. Tucha agena maso. No kuwelezo uvaka. Uwenja ulo. Ku double standard. Double standard si chichi murugani. Eh? Chogere kwa si jena si chichi sobola chidamu. Chichi? Double standard si chichi geza omuntu ya chichi umirampi. Obado chogere avulu onchi. Tochi uza. Chichi umirampi ya bili. Like omuntu ya bili ngeno neno. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Yeah, double Yo yo. Yes. Katiba no baga iba no wetuli one. Boba ya mululi me ne muluzi se. Mujyo kiranti. Mungu mi bili mu kumi nena. Nakuzomwe zali kumi nasatu. Mwezo gumu nana. In fact, du japwa luancha. Na ye. Boba wa ina inoli mo limo lo siru la siru uli langako. Neba gama mbu mulu yimbolo. Yali yafu midira mbu LGBT. Neba musiba, neba mubani nga. Gundi, neba mugamba taja kudamu kuyingi lachi. Mungereza. Na ye, tukenzo kulaba mwami musebe nisebo ye boya isi zete eka. Yeliyevi siyaga. Baku bie nduru, neba teka ubu statement ya uo. Uramaze neba mungero omusimbi. Atamu chisera chechimu netulaba ambasada wa wabu ngeleza. 
mu mu Uganda ngaze ali a useba akola interview mu kifo cyo kugera ku bana Uganda bebakwata ne batta bebasiba ali mu kugera ku covid 19 covid 19 yagwa yo dane sebo mu cyalo oli ndarabiyawo nganono interview wa NBS ngali serious abuza covid 19 hmm? Omuchala anga ba mubu zabi alabia mu Uganda. Ok, chichibuzo chaba de chiche. Chicha alabia mu Uganda, banga liyaba de wo. Ya gambi ntambu de, mbuza kuba na Uganda. Kwa na Uganda bu mbabu zako, baina na boche bagala. Asa abantu ba, abantu ba Uganda, ba, ba mbaga de, kubanga chibagala bachi manyi. Ne chibagala chiba manyi, tachi oge lako. So, obobudi ya kubu, wetu oge lako wanene. Double standards. Okudia mulo lime ne mulo zise. Ebi 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 tu agalo bi tu agalo kuba kat. Eda. Butu banga tu agalo kuruani sam seven. Neba na ba ba butu mukumwa vuwaza. Mukumwa vuwaza. Butu gendo kuito kudia kumu seven. So. Echo che echo. Echo, checho. Kati a uh, wano wetu bade tu bade ku tu bade ku British Embassy. British Embassy. Uh, wetu wa wano tu genda ku Bill Gates Foundation. Oya, mshitegeera, katwe tuvu ano tu genda ku uh, Bill Gates Foundation. Bill Gates Foundation ni, abasingo bunge mu inzo kupata mu, temu jimani nyonyo, chigenze wala, netu genda jiba nyonyo lolo alero ngapo tu ngapo tu genda yo. Ah, uh, wale nyonyo bani. Jackson bolu lutalo gwe. Removing a puppet. Removing so, a puppet. So, Kemba Lageko wano, wanuwe tuli wano, sayi dieno tuli ku a British Embassy, ni wagula we mule ingeda, Vice President Kamala, Kamala Harris, wa asula. So, kubetuja waneno, tuwa tukubebi nyonyi bibidi wa mulundi gomu. Ela security, tuwa na yu waneno, tuwa na security ya, uh, ya Vice President, wa President wa Amerika. So, wagulu wali eri, wabeda wo, Vice President, wano ya wali uh, embassy ya Bungereza. So, uh, yo polisi, of course, ingabo, ingabo, imba gambi. Obukumi uwa guru guru. No kwa ata uwa. Aha, adeno yo gere. Yeah. <laughs> Britain, stop funding dictator hmm? seven. Okay. I mean, okay. Britain, stop funding so so bagambe ko bagambe ko bagambe ko yes is a hippo is a double edged sword is a social security is a vis is killing people in Congo. Oh. Mustaveni is killing people in Uganda. Mustaveni is Al Shabab. No, uh, no, don't 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 start no. the sign. Don't look at oh. the sign. Yeah. Al Shabab, ADF. Mustaveni is ADF. Uh, there is not any other ADF. It's Mustaveni himself who is ADF. And they know that. And you Yes. Stop banning dictators in Africa. Wagambe ko. Britain, stop banning terrorists in Africa. Stop using your puppets to kill Africans. Britain, you said you gave us independence in 1962 in Uganda. But we are not independent. You are still deciding for us. Stop banning our killers. Stop 
Yes. Yes. Understanding our oppression. Mm. Enough is enough. Tell it. Back up Uganda. More fire. Britain, back up Uganda. Back up. King Charles, back up Uganda. Mm. King Charles, back up our minerals. Yes. Back up our gold. Yes. Tell them. For uranium. You're killing them because of the uranium. Yes. Mustafen, you're killing the Kassassa people because of their oil. Yes. And you're being funded by the British. Tell them. Tell them. They have MI-14. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Okay. So now, uh, now to communicate with those people, if you want to join us. Okay. Okay, so <coughs> I need a ride with someone. You're driving? No, no, I didn't drive. Oh, no, no, it's ride. okay. We, we can take this one. This one okay. You want to drive? No, 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 I don't want to drive. I, oh. I, I need a ride. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah you just... Want, you, wanted, you wanted someone to drive you? Yeah, someone. I, don't have my, my I lost my wallet, remember? So I don't have a driver's license right now. It's coming in the mail. Hmm, but you're a driver. Huh? Are you going to knock? Are you planning to knock? No, I'm not planning to knock. Yeah, you can drive. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, wait, but if they stop me and I don't have a driver's license, they'll be like, why, what, are you, why, what are you doing driving? Mm. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. But I don't know the city. I may be like, oh, you turn right, and then I'm like making a, <laughs> a, a wrong turn, and the police say, what are you doing? Yeah. They say, oh, give us your driver's license. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Stuff. At Gende. And then I got a vuga by nine. Nze. Catch her in Catch Chocolate or Syndicate was in this one. Okay. Bamiquan and Weber, the Quaker, who made a cough or told to a Kalutan, the Catuchia Tambula. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the, the British Embassy. In fact, Waguru Wano, uh, Vice President Harris Kamara, Kamala Wabeda. So, Tule Kani na Muchifochi Tufu, message Bajifuna. Yeah. Yeah. Mwini Zoga Manti, Ngati Mweze. Na ye olutalo telu wangulu wa bantu banji. Olutalo lu wangulu wa abantu. Abama nye songa luwa chiba luwana. Era abantu abamali livu. Soba nove mula vye. Beba muku waba abamali livu. Wali waba laba joku tuwe gatako. Bacha ina miti ngijivali mu. Na ye because permit season no zivela ni sawa zivela baba wade. So we could not wait for them. Netuga manti ya haa katugene tutandike. Eo ye polisi etukuma. Era ye to temera e kubonga to tambula so we kumi deko we mula bate two get at a chick gizant to be with cause there is a distance or kuva wana we took yoktu kaku uh Bill and Belinda Gates Foundation. Kochi ku Bill Gates okay. All right. Kakati uh Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Chitongole Gera bwe muguji amanya ndo zaba mu mwali muli uli dekeli nya ya Bill Gates. He chitongo lecho nga chiko zovulabe bwa amanyi nyo eli. Aba, eh, actually nsi yo na si Uganda yika. Elizabeth, otoke na mwuso vula. Bebali responsi bo mkugema oko oko. Kwe tuleka nina kukugema oko nga. Chigende ra. Chia kukende za namba. 
Sija kuogera luzungu, nja kuogera lugando lwe songa ze mumanyi. Beba nanyini, kwa gamba viva kule mbede, uh, process teye yoku wanga, bake ndeza enamba, ukuita mkugema. Then, era beba li responsible, nekunsi gezo, ezo no nye takano utonde. Ziba ita GM, because genetically modified, oba organs or seeds, yeah. Mozi manye mtunje nsige ezo, avali bazu ulideko, actually, ne Uganda zatu ukada na ikatindo za waga la chikolo officially, kubanga katikilo maiga buya jawano, actually si katikilo, maiga, gamole ngeja, buya jawano, recently, it was, I think it's like a month back, yes. bebe muku before ya genda, ya genda, wa, ya genda mu kofise za, za foundation yeyo, ila ebalua, nateke chuandi kuku page ya CBS, I think, okongero kaka santi, dala ya genda yo sabye tuogera sibi ya ambu obabi ya pa na ye evidence weli msobolo genda kupeji ya CBS so nga mkugenda yo ba welcoming a gates ne foundation ye mu Uganda officially ukuleta ebi mere mere ebiyo first of all ebi mere ebiyo ono netaka ate bili mibuwa chemicals chemicals ezo zi very dangerous ebi omotu Climate. Yes, ne climate. Da yen songa ndo zaluwa chitula vya galuwa da ganji getu talabanga ko before. Aba ntubalu wale nduwa dezita tegele kika. Nduwa dezima it's because of what we eat. So, katituwa gala tumurumbe, tumugambe, tuvile ku Uganda. Katonda ya tonda Uganda. Nga ye malili la mbulichimu. E ineta ke dunji. E inembe la yobu denunji. So, te tueta aga GMOs. E ranja galo kukubili zabali miyabali kuna. Baba de...